Let's uh, see, what's today? May 29th. Okay. Ready? Uh -huh. May 29th, got another swarm call. We're going to shake this one down into the box and uh, hope we get the queen in the box. You guys might want to back up. Get stung? Yep, we got me. You get it out? I have a pocket knife on me. No, nope, I didn't get it. Here. I got half of it. Show my knife. The queen's in there. If you come up close. They'll come in. Well, yeah, there's opening front. On one. There's an opening up front. Oh, that one hurt. Oh, okay. <sighs> Kneeling on bees. Anyways, so if you see this guy right here, he's uh, fanning himself like that. They're calling to each other and saying, we're over here, we're over here. And he's just... So what is that square? Just sugar water. Kind of help him stay in there. Calms him down. Yeah, gives him something down, to do. Gives him something to do. <laughs> Clean each other up and stuff. Well, he got stung right on the back of his neck. Hurt. Dude, I just kneeled on a bee. How do you know if you got the queen in there or not? Well, in about 10 minutes, they'll either all be back up here or they'll be in the hive. Oh, there's some more down there on the other branch. Like the little dance you were talking about, those ones on the edge of the box. Yeah, see all of them. They're all the putting yeah. their butts so those, in the air. Those, those are actually fanning. It's called Mazinoving. It's putting yeah. off a pheromone. And they call it the come hither pheromone. Oh. It says, hey, things have changed. We like this place. Come here. <laughs> yep, it's a pretty good sign. You want to tell uh, them about the last bees we caught, the last swarm you caught, that you didn't video? Oh, yeah. I, I work for a school district, the Alpine School District. They called me out to one of the schools for a swarm, and somebody had apparently sprayed them before I got there. They were all dead the next morning in my hive. So, didn't do me much good. Yeah, didn't parasites. Do the bees much good either. Uh, pesticides are what's killing a lot of the bees.
So they think she's in there for the last time? I would say yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, what's the... Well, they're all going in. A couple went back up there into that tree. It's because yeah. they're looking for her. Yeah. Yeah, once that sun gets down behind that house and it starts cooling down another 10, 15 minutes, the uh, uh, hive scout bees will be coming back. All these guys will go inside, and uh, we'll be done. <laughs> so, what does the queen look like in her bigger wings? She's no, she, the, her wings are actually about the same size. Her abdomen is probably another third longer, and she's just a hair wider. So, so there's not much difference. She's a, she's she sometimes be, a she darker be, color. Yeah, diff, different color, lighter, darker, but uh, they usually there's pretty. A bunch of them there look like they're gathering up. On the ground. Well, they're all doing their little butt dance. <laughs> There's not enough coming out of the hive, though, for, it to be. For, for her not to be in there. That's Smaller hive than a, a smaller swarm than the other ones. Yeah, it's a little smaller. But it's okay. Yeah. Ugh. Is this like an average size swarm? Um, it's it's probably yeah. The first one we got was a pretty good sized swarm. Wasn't it like 10,000? 9,000? It was about two pounds. Two pounds of bees. <laughs> wow, that's a good clump. There we go, girls. Give them something to do. We got a ball up on the, the ceiling, none of it, of it. You might want a couple balls on the ceiling, you might want to spray them. Or not them. Who's that drill?
Just got B paranoia. <laughs> Me to turn it off or yeah you can turn it off okay. okay we've closed up the bottom entrance and just slid back the top it's a little closer to what their uh, swarm spot was and uh, it's getting a little cooler so the scouts are coming back and uh, we're about ready to close up the box in probably another 10 or 15 minutes when the sun goes down and uh, hi and uh, we'll be heading home <laughs>